pelican with some very soft mangoes and pots are full of skeletons and terry cloth kangos. Hey guys, it's Mango Kango here and welcome to the long awaited Build Ideas 8. Alright, so throughout this video, uh, there's going to be a good variety of stuff. Well, maybe not variety, but definitely a lot of options. Um, I'll have them kind of flared out on the screen here for you. Um, I'll have them timestamped throughout the video. So when you find something that has your interest, just find it in the timestamps, go to that area, and watch how to make it. That's generally how I do these videos. That's how I've been doing them. Um, this is going to be an important build ideas video because it's going to be the first one since the release of the major build update So we're gonna get some seriously different mechanics here guys, so just bear with me Obviously, I'm adjusting as much as you guys are probably um, Also, I will not be using the new rotate tool that he just released today for obvious reasons I've already made most of these objects or furniture pieces without that rotate tool in mind. So yeah, but let's get into it. We're gonna start with the couch or the lounging um, chair, you know, the thing where you pull the lever on the side and it goes up. Um, you're gonna be able to customize. You can have zero lounge, uh, like you can have zero of the things up. You can have two of them or just one of them. It's pretty customizable, so let's get into it. All right, so boom and boom. We have them both down. All right, perfect. And now we are gonna want a good amount of these clocks. I never know how much sometimes, so just make sure they're rotated this way. You can use the tilt tool. It works pretty darn good. So let's just place some like this. That's gonna be the front area. All right, and you're gonna want at least six trash bins. I know that for sure. So we're gonna wanna place, um, you can go in the hide mode. I actually recommend going in the hide mode. So we got one. Just make sure it's kind of pushed into that block. There's our second one. And there's our last one. So let's make sure it's the same on this side. To, and if this last one gives you a hard time, we can always go in that hide mode one more time and get it where we want it. And boom, we have that. Those are the sides and the middle right here. Okay, and up next we have our cushions. The cushions should just kind of push in on their own. Um, I like to face the more puffy side without the lines in it. You see that towards the user because that's kind of the generally the, the more attractive side. Um, you can have a combo of two together. You can have one over here. I mean, it's kind of, you just gotta figure out what works best for you. I might go for one in the middle, one on the side, and one on this side. Okay, and that looks pretty good. Um, obviously, you know, you can combine these like I had in probably the thumbnail one, but I think that looks pretty good for now. Um, you could choose to fill in between here with other clocks. Um, this is completely optional, but I will do it to show you how you would completely master this so let's flip this like that so if you would want that in there to fill in that gap you're gonna have to go in hide mode here place that in there and place that in there like that and yeah I mean that does the trick right okay and up next this part is a little bit of a doozy I will say it could get a little pricey I forget how expensive these toilet paper rolls are but they should just fall into place like this, and you're just gonna wanna place them all like this. This is kind of a back seated cushiony thing area. Um, it doesn't have like the biggest use admittedly, um, but it adds to the dynamic of the shape itself. So I think it is quite cool. You could probably get away without doing it. Okay, now remove both sides of the couch, and you're gonna wanna take this and make sure that this is facing the top and make sure the padded side is pushed this way. So um, just kind of memorize where this is supposed to go. Oh, look at that, it actually went in where it's supposed to. Okay, never mind. you don't have to memorize it. It just goes in. Look at that, it's so easy now. Awesome. Okay, perfect, so we got the back side. And now this is optional as well, but we're gonna push this inwards here. Um, you can go use the C command just kind of memorize the area where it's supposed to go in. This looks right. Yep. 
Just to give it a smooth edge on the sides, notice how it's kind of wrinkly there. It might take away from the illusion um, that these are not supposed to be towels in the end. There we go. So this is perfect. Just make sure it's placed in the right spot. And you got exactly what you want. Okay, now the things that you pull to make the, you know, the stuff, the chair thingy majiggy come out. We're going to use our water boilers. Okay, and you're going to want to place these sideways, you know, the arm facing the right direction. Imagine you have to actually pull this thing, so that is perfect. Now, one thing you'll notice is if I were to place this on the grid, per se, it would look something like this. And it doesn't exactly look right. You're going to have to go off the grid with this while in C mode. Yes, this is not going to be entirely easy, but try to remember a point of interest on the ground that could help you line it up. Or um, you could have another object here that you know doesn't disappear and line it up with the edge. That way you kind of have a relative knowing for where this is supposed to be. So I'm going to place both of these on the edge of where the uh, thing sits. So that should be pretty good. So notice how they're both in the same spot. They're both perfectly lined up there. Now I kind of know where to place this, right? So let's go in our hide mode. So this tells me it's somewhere here that we're supposed to place it. And just like that, we got it. Could this have been more forward? Yeah, a little, I guess. But um, you can play with it because I believe it's actually pretty easy to delete. I'll test that out in a second. Let me just line this one up real quick. See, that one's wrong. So let's say you got it wrong, right? And it's sticking out a little bit. You can always go and delete it. And it should be the first thing that lets you delete. Yeah, on the outside. So you're fine, you know, even if you mess up. So again, let's try this one more time. There, perfect. And now both of these, these might not line up exact. Um, I don't think anyone's gonna notice that. If you're really worried about it, you can keep finicking with it. But I think that is pretty damn good right now. Okay, now last we need the part that reclines outward. So for that, we're gonna grab our kitchen or bathroom towel. It's a little different than these towel stacks. It looks like this. And you're gonna, we're gonna flip this this way. So it should just push in on its own if it's flipped this way. And you just wanna make sure it's not poking out this side right here, but you still want it to be a little bit longer. So there you go, there's your one reclined chair. If you want the other one, you just do the same thing on this side. And now you got double recline. If you don't want it reclined, then you take that away. If you don't want them both reclined, then you take both of them away. See how nice this is? I think it's really cool that you can kind of customize it. All right, now let's talk about color. You got to recolor this thing, right? You don't have to do it the way I do it, obviously. Um, but I am going to tell you the textures that probably work best for this. So I'm going to do a wood on the outside here. And I would match the sides with the um like the back side here and now the rest should be its own color palette so uh this should all be soft right so a soft one would be something like this or maybe sand i'm gonna go with this because this looks a little more intricate i'm gonna choose a yellow it's a little darker maybe like a beige-ish color here that looks okay yeah it looks okay but we'll go with this can color in between there see how we can actually get in between there oh to fill that in just like that and let's do our back side here and this okay and that looks pretty good if you're worried about the clocks underneath um just make sure you have your fill on it'll take away anything that you um, wouldn't want underneath that isn't colored and that's if you're being like very specific a lot of it you can't even see anyways so let's take our paintbrush tool again Let's raise this up a notch. This will be lighter. Let's make that way lighter. It's a little too dark. There we go. Now the cushions kind of look different than in the standalone couch part, which I think really looks nice there. Yeah, that's that's cool. Now you can make this brown. You can make this whatever color you want, guys. Um, and I'm going to go for color here. Let's go darker. There we go. That looks pretty good. So I just did this texture right here with a more of a gold, dark gold color here. And it seems to work very, pretty well there. Now you could fill this in with some hat things to put some cushions, I mean, not cushions, pillows here or whatever. But for the sake of this video, 
this looks pretty good. You can even blend these in with the side of the couch. Oh, and if you weren't sure what I meant by combining these cushions, I just might go like this. You know, if I take my paint thing here, you can take the paint from here and put it on there. And that's what I meant by that. So you got one little single cushion and a long cushion here. That can add to the style of your house. You can even make the whole thing a cushion. It's up to you. It's got a lot of customization options in my opinion. So yeah, it's very, very cool. Okay, and next up we have this very unique looking double table with like thin arms. And it looks very, very modern and sleek, so we're gonna go for that. You'll notice that this kind of looks like one we did before, except we have a lot more free range motion with this. For this, you're gonna need a back wall to at least rebound off of, so we're gonna use this. Alright, so let's place our lamp here, and then we're gonna want our second lamp in later, so we can figure out where we want that. Our clock, let's rotate this off the grid. There we go. So it should let us just kind of put it down and make sure it's rotated the right way because look, if I rotate it this way, it has different weird hitbox stuff going on. So I have it this way. It kind of allows me to tinker with it a little bit here and place the other one below it. Trying to line it up as best as I can here. And then the other one you want somewhere here, but definitely a little higher and more to the edge for sure. Just like that. So you got this weird double table thing going on. And now we can take our other one that's off the grid and try to get this where we want it to look as good as it can. All right, something like that. You see, it kind of looks like it's holding it. And now we got these two tables being held up by that. And now we can take anything we want, kind of put it on there, just make sure it looks fairly balanced. And then we can go and color it and this is where in my opinion the real magic happens obviously now this is gonna this is similar to another one that i made in the past but now with the obvious texture changes etc we're definitely going to get a different dynamic here so i want this to be more of a metallic for the arms here i just want it to look gold that looks okay that's like a bronzish gold and we're going to try a brown here with our wood there we go and then we want the top let's do a grayer gray here for the bottom and then a white marble top which would be this one now that we got that we can go ahead and color anything else that we think may need to be colored kind of just paint match everything real quick all right, and once you're done paint matching everything that you want, this is what you're kind of left with. A very unique looking double table that has some skinnier, thinner legs and a nice base to it. I think it generally looks pretty good. The only downside is if you look under it, it's a little bit weird, obviously. And you have these lamp shades here, which I wish, you know, you could color at least, but you can't. So it does make it a little bit more difficult than it has to be. But overall, I'd say it definitely looks pretty good. You could add another leg to it if you wanted to as well. For this next one, we're gonna be doing a very modern take on some of those lights that you see that are a little bit more like uniquely shaped looking, right? And I think you'll understand what I mean when you look at this picture. Um, this light is definitely gonna be more of a modern light, but it looks very, very cool. And I think it could definitely add a unique vibe to the house. So how do you make this light? Well, we're gonna start with a block. Well, a couple. So let's do, you're gonna wanna do three for now. You're gonna want this in the center, just like that. You're gonna wanna take your other block and just kinda put it on the ceiling. Your ceiling is gonna have to sit around this height. You're gonna have to have something covering this up the top, or you could have a little object here that connects to the top. But either way, this top is going to sit right there and it's gonna to connect to this piece. So we're gonna build up to here and we're going to need two cameras. These cameras do act a little funny, so have as much space to rebound off of to work with as you can. And I'm gonna place a poster back here on all these slots. As you can see, they're all there. They just don't highlight, which actually is kind of a problem. I really wish they highlighted, but oh well, that's part of the new update. Let's take our camera, oh there they are. <laughs> and let's rotate it this way. 
and it should fit right where it needs to there just like that and then it's right in the center and that looks really really good so we can delete our rebounding areas right here and we can keep it at what it is right now all right and the last thing we need actually is just the lights that go on here all right and for this you're gonna need the christmas lights um if you're not christmas is coming up soon like very soon so if you don't have these i like i do apologize i do have an alternative to this um but in the meantime guys we're going to be using the christmas lights for this one because it works best so you're gonna need at least four of them and just make sure your grid snap is on and just kind of place it on there like this and just flip it for this one because this one will be the same exact thing just flipped and we do the same thing on this side and boom just like that so first let's just see what this looks like on its own it looks pretty goofy but when it's colored obviously that's when it really shines so i'm going to do probably a metallic for the entire camera portion of this which is supposed to be just something that holds it in place i want a gray i want it to be really dark let's go do this on there so it colors all of it there we go and then just make sure that you get these um sides too for the christmas lights even though they're probably the close color already and then the pole you could make this um color too I'm gonna actually not match the pole and I'm gonna do more of a bronze thing here. Oh, that's not bronze. Let's see if this looks more bronze. Yeah, so it's like a bronze thing holding it in place. And then we can color our lights a nice yellowish, whitish color. Just something to make it pop and make sure there's no textures on this either. And there you have it. A very, very modern take on a light that you could have in the air. And you could even have this going the other two directions and you have kind of a modern chandelier. Now what if you don't have these lights right now? Well that's where this gets a little dynamic and you could probably do your own take on this stuff. So I'm actually going to put these two back here. We're going to delete these if you didn't want something like this. And now we're going to try a different light. So for this you're going to have to have it ungrid snapped, just a heads up. And at least one of these, sorry not one of these, you're going to need two of these. And we're going to want to tilt it this way and get it in there like this I'm trying to line it up as best as i can here that's fairly similar okay try and dim those down a little bit i mean hey if you have darker walls this could work that's definitely a unique light um maybe you could add a little bit of something here a pole in the middle to make them link up more but i do think it looks like they're holding them anyways that's a cool alternative if you don't have the christmas lights guys for sure that could definitely work in some settings. Okay, so how about some chairs, right? Some chairs that you can sit on that look a little bit more modern, maybe. Well, first we're gonna start out with the smaller one and then the slightly bigger version. There are two versions of this I would like to show you. Um, this one you don't actually have to be exact on. You're going to want two clocks like I just placed down. And then let's turn this trash bin, place this like that. All right, and then for this top portion, you just kind of want to do it right before it falls off. So right there looks pretty good. And now we can tilt this downward and place this one in that same spot on the bottom. It just has to be relative, and that looks pretty good. And then for the last part, so that we can actually sit on this chair, we're going to grab our lovely chair. Make sure it's facing the right way so that when you sit on it, see it's the wrong way so let's rotate that and we can put it we can put it right in there you're gonna have to go in c mode put it in there like that let's take a gray from over here from earlier like this and let's put our fill on and just make sure you color everything and make sure it's getting filled completely and now you'll notice it kind of takes the shape of a full length like the chair looks like it's one thing now and now we can go ahead and find a more lighter color and turn it to a fabric and put your camera down in here like this and color the fabric part. And now you got like a little seated area which you can sit on like this. Now the cool thing about this chair is that you can sit in it first of all, but also I think it would make for a very, again these are more modern pieces and I think this looks pretty modern and if you're at like a little kitchen 
like area instead of having stools you could have these chairs that you sit in and I think they just look really cute and you could do a bunch of different colors with it. Alright now going to something that I find to be a little simpler we're going to place this again these are chairs so it doesn't really matter where we put it this is kind of going to be a bigger version of this chair um, with a little bit more flair and design on it so I'm going to recolor this right away just so it's not a pain in the butt later there we go make sure the fill is on so that this actually gets filled up right there all right and we're going to want our clocks so for the back clock we're going to have it just right you know right where you think it would go it should just place in there if not you can go and see and put it in there too and that's just the c command aka the eyeball over here i hope that's pretty um clear for you guys there and then for this one we're just going to want rotated this way and same thing goes for this side this one might give us oh there we go got it thought it was going to give us a hard time it did not all right so this chair is almost done we quite literally only need the back so let's make sh let's get that out of the way here all right now take this really weird looking wedge thing that he added to the game and we're gonna be using this one to kind of work with here without having to go too in depth with like the grid mode or whatever but yeah this should be pretty simplistic um it should just kind of go right here and then you want to rotate one back on itself like that and we should be able to delete it and you can choose to fill this backside in uh i'm going to just because I think it makes it kind of uniform and complete. Just kind of put it there. And yeah, that should be the last thing besides the cushion here. So let's get that cushion. All right, so you're gonna have to color all of this in order to get that cushion colored in the first place. But then after that, you can use the paint dropper and just use the paintbrush and get that colored. So then you got the cushion colored and you get something like this, which is a little bit bigger and yeah i mean i still think it's a very unique shape and those handlebars definitely add to a room if you were to make this red you can make it a bunch of different colors and i just think it's a very modern take on chairs i think these two chairs look pretty cool okay and for the next portion of this video um we have some cabinets so this is going to be a little bit um different i know a lot of people want more cabinet ideas in general so let's take a look at some real quick. So I'm going to do two different types right here. This should be pretty easy and you can even use your own decal on them. First up, I'm going to be using this chair. You're just going to want to place this in the center. You're going to want to grab this one too and place this in the center. And then if you have yourself a double, we can place this in the center too and get another block on the side here that won't disappear. All right, I just got done coloring them a gold metallic. And now we're going to want to place one of these behind each of these. These are going to be the legs of our cabinets. And I'm kind of just going through the different ones here real quick. All right, for the first one, we can go and press this. And everything hides when we go in the C mode. Take the grid off. Now we're going to put this here. But we're going to go a little higher than we need to. And now the reason for this is because that top part actually sticks out the top so we want to remove that as much as we can by putting it up a little higher than it may need to be just like that and you'll be doing the same for the single shelf the for the single cabinets as well i would just stick the white above it that way you have something to remember so that both of these are kind of the same height and by both of them i mean like so like if you do this again you need this to be the same height so if we use what we said before, you know, we just want that white showing above the top. That looks perfect. And the white showing above the top for this one too. Perfect. So if I did it right, if we go back, oh, this one's still showing a little bit. You might have to adjust for different ones. That That's a very thin line though. You're probably never going to see that or notice it. I think that looks, oh, except for walking into it, you might get stuck in these cabinets. Let's do a color change on them to make them fit a little bit better. You could also, I also want to reiterate here, if you want more accuracy for this one, since it has its legs a little weird down there, you could go in hide mode one last time here and just take this 
and lower it just a little bit like that and there you go see it works pretty damn good now is the recolor time let's turn the paint bucket fill on let's go for a wood because you know these are wood dressers find a dark color well actually I, I want this to be more gray let's let's bring this up a little bit here just make sure it colors both of them just don't color the legs obviously and now you can color the tops differently too like for this one if i wanted the top to be different i could in theory go for like a slate top like that which might look kind of cool that might be something you like so now that these all kind of have legs what you can do is put a decal like everyone uses on top of these okay let's stick with what we have okay well that's too big do i not have a single cabinet there we go so here's like a single cabinet to demonstrate this one obviously glitched out on me um but yeah i'll put them on both of them here that's what it looks like there and this one doesn't want to work because it hates me well this one's glitched i i honestly don't know what's happening you could do a double um, just like most people do their double decals. But yeah, this is what it looks like. See that? It's pretty neat. Pretty neat, man. Definitely some cool little shelves. You could put stuff on it if you go behind it. And it works really, really well. And adds to a more dynamic, modern look. Alright, so this is more of a throwback to something I did before. It's a type of table, except we're bringing it up compared to the other one and modernizing it a little bit. So for this, we're going to want to make sure that everything's lined up properly. So let's just take two of these, you know, just like that. And now we're going to want to take these chairs, which are from the red presents that you can find by the manager's office. And we're just going to place these two like that. Now I'm going to color these right away. Let's just take this color from over here since I kind of like that color because these are going to be the legs for this thing. Now that the legs are placed down, we're going to want to place the middle portion, which is going to be our futuristic coffee table. All right, and for this, um, since it gets weird when you place it here, see that's not the right spot, we're going to, no, nope, not do that. We're going to go in the hide mode, which is pressing the C, and this should be pretty centered. As you can see, it's exactly where we want it. Now obviously it still looks like two chairs holding up a table. That's not what we want. Since it needs to be one stud this way, um, I'm going to take a big poster so I can rebound off of it in hide mode. Crap. Well, we'll do another one. Don't go back out of hide mode. Do not do that. We're going to grab our towels, the towel stack like this, and have the softer um, double part facing us. And place the towels across it rebounding just like I did. Now we can delete the uh, poster that we placed. And we're just going to repeat this process on the back side. Okay, and now we got a long uh, table thingy here. So we're going to paint this underneath and the tables on top. We're going to go for a darker kind of gray here. And now we can take our paintbrush out and single-handedly paint the top parts of these and the arms. A little hard to get to, but once you get it, you get it. And I accidentally painted the legs here, so let's go back to that. So you could leave it at this, because this realistically, guys, I mean, come on, that doesn't look that bad. Um, it starts to not look like two chairs holding up a table. It starts to look like its own little table thing, and I think it's a very interesting shape. But you can take it a step further, of course. So if you want to fill in that back part, we can just do this. Just make sure it's one stud away from the wall here. And then we can go back and look at it. And that fills that part in, if that was something you were interested in. Now I'm going to do a darker gray for this, or a borderline black. But yeah, this desk is greatly accompanied by a chair. Obviously, this is like probably not the chair to use for this, but it 
kind of looks okay there actually and then you could put whatever you want on there um like a you know some paper maybe a plant or whatever you know something something like this i think it's very cute and it it's got so much dynamic to it it definitely will stand up compared to like other desks that people make i think and yeah, just look, it looks really cool. Alright, and for this last part, it's a throwback to a legacy. In Build Ideas 2, I made a mannequin. And I think it was honestly one of my favorite builds, and I wish more people knew about it, or at least did it. Um, but I don't see it used as often, I really think it's cool. Like, we gotta get more of these mannequins in people's bedrooms or something, man. Or, or I don't know. It's a very cool build. It's a legacy build. Um, I'm gonna show you how to redo it with the new way the building works now. And legacy builds are something I'm actually going to start doing more often because I feel like it's just right, you know, to do it justice again. Um, but yeah, we're going to start with a two of the stairs on the sides. Okay, and let's grab our microphone right here. Take that, face it backwards. Don't worry about it for now. We're going to want our lamp. Make sure it's not facing this way. You want it the wider way. Put that in the middle. See how easy that is with that C command? Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> and now we want our water boiler to be in the middle portion. Well, to do that, uh, all we do realistically is take a stair block, put it in there, and it goes on top like that. Pretty easy there. And then for the arms, they're just two spotlights. And the arms are so much easier than they used to be back in the day. You guys aren't going to believe it. It's crazy. So instead of spam rotating, we get to rotate these things super easily now. And they also just merge in right away. So this you're just going to want centered here. And bring it up one. Do the same with this side. Perfect. And now we put one of these down here. And it's just the head which I can use the C command for and place it down like that. Now I can delete everything. Let's edit that head. All right, now that we have the head here, we're going to just want to recolor this. So let's let's do something let's do something lighter, but still in that beige category and a fabric and just kind of make sure that colors everything kind of get in there. This might be a little bit harder to get to, unfortunately, because other things are fighting for attention here to be colored. I guess you want to color these beforehand, it looks like. Okay, and then for, we can do the base as wood. Just make sure we get a little bit of a darker brown color here. Probably go a little lighter. And just like that, there's a remastered version of our mannequin and it looks really really good you can put whatever you want on the mannequin head and it would look really nice in a bedroom but yeah that does it for today's build ideas video guys um maybe a little lengthy i don't know how it's going to look in the editing but i think some of these ideas are pretty cool and we're definitely moving in the right direction as far as buildings going it's uh looking optimal very very optimal but yeah with that uh i'll catch you guys in the next video I plan, not sure what I have planned for a future video, but uh, I'll keep you guys in touch and might have something coming. So, see ya. <laughs>